Kidnapping and murder of Deontay Mitchell has torn hearts across this country. Just one day before his accused killer goes to court, the 13 year old is laid to rest. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has the story. His eyes, his own, the sparrow. Hard to imagine the pain of burying a child, but today the family of 13 year old Deontay Mitchell joined friends and community members for his homegoing service. A funeral for a 13 year old boy who police say is only dead because he angered a man for picking up some money that he dropped. To stop the spirit of murder, we have to stop the murderer. And so something internally has to take place in the hearts of people. Services were at Second Ebenezer Church on Detroit's east side where they opened their hearts and sanctuary for loved ones to say goodbye. It's high time that we not accept the violence and the crime and the killing in our city. This has to stop. But today we're here for the Mitchell family. There's a murder demon over our city flapping his wings, and there's a contract on our kids where a big old grown, crazy, stupid man came and took this young man and put him in a car. Pastor Maurice Hardwick, who is behind the Live in Peace movement, presided with a message of community engagement and standing up against violence. I'm fighting for your kids. I ain't lost one son yet, but they my son. This is my son. But the Lord said, this is my son. His blood cried from the ground to me, and I am a soldier of the Lord. So that's my son. Deontay's grandmother. I'm going to miss Deontay. I'm going to miss him so much. So that was my baby. The question now is how much hurt and pain does there have to be before heart and hearts and minds make a change? You gonna sit here and cry and turn around and go back and lay with the enemy and let them kill some more kids? Don't even cry. Just shut on up. I don't even want to hear it. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. And our deepest sympathies go out to the loved ones of Deontay Mitchell.